truth or dare? I wonder what you're going to take. Here's the truth. Last few months have been economic hell for many, many people. We're on the verge of an eviction crisis. If Congress doesn't do something or approve something, many of these states moratoriums on evictions are going to expire this month. You lost your job. You got evicted. You got an eviction on your credit report. You have no cash. This is going to be very, very bad for many, many people. One of the things that this Rona has exposed about American economy, it wasn't as strong as people assumed it was. Because what does Trump always put out? The stock market's doing well. The stock market is making money. The stock market represents 8,000 companies out of what used to be 30 million companies in America. We're down to about maybe 22 million. Many businesses have gone out of business. So what is one to do? Because I feel that we are about to go through an economic change because people are about to go through pain. As long as people can avoid pain, not going through pain, not having pain, not dealing with pain, this is going to be really easy for America to ignore. But right now, we're about to see a lot of people go through some serious pain. And one of the things that's going to happen, because I've been saying this for the last 10 years, your only option is to start a business. And there are many, many people who watch this channel who love the social commentary. They've avoided that. It's like, eh, I don't want to start a business. Man, I don't, I'm, I'm not really feeling that. I don't want that stress. All I want to do is to go to work, come home, and chill. I want to Netflix and chill. I don't want to do all this stuff. I don't want to do all this stuff. And you know what? Many, many years ago, I used to be just like you. Just go home, go to work, do what I need to do. The minute I was off, I was off. I could do what I want with my free time, enjoy my free time. And then I went through a period of economic hell that forever changed how I approach personal finance. How I ever changed, like, I practice financial self-defense because of that period of economic hardship. It was three years of pure economic hell. It was three years of not having no money. It was three years of living substandard housing. It was three years, it, it, was, it was so much pain. And I personally feel that if I had not gone through that economic pain, I would not be where I'm at today. And once again, there are many people who are about to go through some serious economic pain. I mean, they're about to lose their car, they, they lost their job, they're about to get evicted, their credit's about to go bad. I mean, all of these things happened to me. I lost where I was living. I didn't get evicted. I left. I knew I didn't have the money to pay these folks. So I just went to the leasing office and told them, I was like, look, uh, I'm not going to have the money to pay rent. So I'm just going to leave. And they were like, OK. And I, I moved out, got rid of everything and then did the walkthrough and gave them their keys back. They didn't put it on my credit report. So I didn't get evicted. I evicted myself. I lost my car, wrecked it didn't have a car. Since I didn't have a car, I lost my job. And then because I lost my job, my credit went bad. I went through this whole, you know, chaos after chaos because, you know, I did this video about the Amazon driver and many young folks have pushed back and saying that these jobs are trash. I don't want to work them. I'm not going to work them. I would rather eat 
ramen noodles than to work these jobs. I'd rather be poor. And I, I have a message for you. You have not gone through enough economic pain or your behavior would be different. Like this dude, he was making a G a week. He was in Michigan where properties are cheap. He could have hustled hard for two years, got enough money to buy houses outright, put renters in there and then quit that job. He didn't have no plan. He, uh, he did this interview where he was just like, hey, working for the white man, blah, 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 blah. He has no plan. And when he is older, he is going to regret how he did it and why he did it. Because right now he, he's not going through enough pain in life. But once he goes through this pain, once this pain happens, this is going to produce drastic change. Because I know a lot of you are like, all oh, these jobs are trash. And once again, I've, I've laid out the path. Yes, these jobs are trash. Corporate America is going to treat you like a $2 hooker on, on the stroll. Yeah. What are you going to do about it? This is the truth of dare. Because I'm giving you the truth and I dare you to do better. But also, I also realize that many of you are not going to do better until you suffer pain. This is just the human condition until the human subject undergoes a lot of pain, a lot of discomfort, change will not happen. Humans, we're just, that's just how we're wired. We're not going to change unless we are forced to change. And this is the truth of dare because I'm giving you the truth. Like the whole thing, like this morning's live stream, talking about the stimulus check. People are clinging to this. This is why America is ready for socialist policies. America is so ready for socialist policies. And one of the things that so many people just don't understand or nor um, pay attention to is the practicality of hard work because everybody's trying to get out of hard work. It's like, I'm not trying to work hard. I'm not trying to do that. If you 65, I understand why you ain't trying to work hard. You old, you old, you 22. Not so much. I don't understand that. You 65, you taking naps. Yeah. I understand why you don't want to be swinging a hammer. I understand why you don't want to be working on a ranch. I understand why you don't want to be cutting down timber. I understand. But once again, I'm going to give you the game there. I just saw a video where this guy was talking about picking up and selling pallets and making a thousand dollars a day to 1500 bucks a day. And with this is there's this course to teach you the ins and outs of it. I know nothing about the pallet business. I do know a little bit about pallets since I used to own a warehouse. And I do know about pallets because I had to ship furniture to customers. And you know where I got most of my pallets? I got them for free. They were everywhere. I did not have to pay for a pallet. I got them for free. Pallets were behind warehouses. Pallets were stacked up because if you go to any industrial zone, you can literally find pallets for free. Literally. And whenever I had to ship out a furniture load, it was on a pallet that I had to beef up because, you know, just the way that a pallet is, it will not stand the, what they do in the shipping of these uh, furniture. They, the way they, they do the shipping and with the forklifts, regular pallet wasn't gonna get it. So I had to reinforce my pallet and build a crate around the furniture to protect it. So it got to its destination intact. But I, I listened to these things and I, I, I'm just sitting there like, and then I went ahead and did some research and I watched a few other videos and where this kid who was getting pallets and he was selling them, he was making profit. He was making like a hundred, 
hundred and some bucks each time you get pallets and stuff. He wasn't making a thousand to fifteen hundred bucks per day. So I don't really know about that. I don't know how that works. So like I said, I don't know anything about the pallets, but I know you can get pallets for free. I know that you can pick up pallets. I know this, but here we are, 2020, the year of the murder hornet. And you got some choices. You can go ahead and keep playing this job game, or you can become self-employed or a business owner. The choice is yours. Because if you keep playing the job game in this current hostile economic climate, the chances of you getting laid off exponentially go off, regardless of what you're feeling. I mean, we have the Rona running rampant and we have doctors and nurses having their hours reduced. Because it, it just depends on where you are. If you're in an area where the Rona's going crazy, yeah, you, you, you can work all the overtime you want. But if you're in an area where the Rona's not there, they're actually laying off doctors and nurses. And they're faced with the prospect of moving to one of these hot zones to work. What do you think about that? And this is something that I have never understood but it is common in our culture for people to move for a job, pack up everything they own, pack up the dog, pack up the cat and go clear cross country, get a new house, a new residence for a new job. Leave your friends, your family, everybody behind to go cross the country for a job. And typically, I'm not talking like they were making three or four times the salary. I mean, sometimes it was only five or $10,000 a year more. Literally picking up, uprooting, and going across the country for a job. And this, this is what a lot of these nurses and doctors are gonna have to do to keep working and to keep making money. You know how traumatic that can be? How big of a issue that can be? So once again, this is where we are. Either you're going to suffer enough pain to produce the change. Cause like I understand, like I was just like you until I went through all of that pain. This, this is one of the reasons I work so hard today. Cause I know what can happen. I know, I don't have any assumptions. I have no fantasies. I don't have any, well, I'm gonna win the lottery or God's gonna provide Jesus Christ. I, I have none of those fantasies. I know what happens when you fall off, when you slip, when you put yourself in a position to you suffer economic harm. And, and you, you can be homeless, you can lose your car, you can be broke, you can have absolutely no money. You can go to bed hungry. This is what happens to people who do not practice financial self-defense. You might be one of the fortunate people to get a job, keep a job, never be unemployed and become an old person. That could happen. But do you wanna take that chance? Do you want to be one of the left behind people? Do you want to be one of these folks who's living this desperado life? Do you want to be one of these people who gets laid off in 2020 and suffers economic income harm for the next three to four decades? This is what's going to happen. You know, I get called a fear mongerer for telling you the truth. My thoughts on those people are they don't want to hear the truth because they're too mentally weak. They rather believe in a pretty lie than the ugly truth. There are many people who will. I, I've seen it in the comments. It's like, I'm tired of all this bad news. I'm tired of all this bad news. I want some good news. And here's some good news. In this game, in this situation, you have a choice and you can make the positive choice of becoming an enterprising, gainfully employed person, or you can make no choice and 
What happens is what happens. That's the deal. So to help you, I have a few things. If you have no money, which is many people, there's 30 days to 2,500, and there's the Hustler's Mindset, Pimping Your Mind for Success. Those are free. Also, I have some consulting packages. If you are wanting to make that move and you need some additional help, all of that is below. Go ahead and grab one of those packages and we can talk on the phone and we can tune up your business because this is the Savage Finance, Savage Finance Consulting. So there's a few things here to help you. Whether you have money, they're free gifts. Go ahead and take them. And if you're in a position where you have income and you want to take your business to the next level, because understand, during this recession, this is the time to take your business to the next level. If you've been practicing financial self-defense, if you've been a business owner who has been properly setting up their books, managing their money, you got dollars in the bank, this is the time to expand because so many businesses are going out of business. This is your time to claim market share. This is your time. Uh, you know, right now there's a lot of trucking companies going out of business, but there is another company, Boyle, B-O-Y-L-E, they're based up in Massachusetts. They're hiring like crazy. They're a well-run company. They've been in business since like 1971. They've got money in the bank and go to Boyle Transportation Indeed page and you'll see nothing but glowing reviews from their truck drivers. So this is a well-run, properly structured company that has money in the bank. And while all of these other trucking companies are going out of business, they're, they're, they're hiring and they're claiming market share. In a recession, this is a time to expand because you have less competition. And right now, there are some mom and pop businesses that have good economics, they have money in the bank, and they're gonna come out of this recession multi-million dollar per month businesses. This is what's gonna happen with these companies because they are practicing financial self-defense Go ahead, check out Boyle Trucking, B-O-Y-L-E, Boyle Transportation. Go to there and you, they're hiring. They're hiring, they're looking for drivers. This is a solid company and this company is going to get bigger and larger and make even more money during this recession because they're properly positioned to grow. Hopefully you're properly positioned to grow. So that's all I got for you. Get, go below, check out the offers. Let me know what you think about them. And also check out this next video.